So, like I said, I've been trying to get hopper assistance in Florida. Well, in Jacksonville, Florida. <coughs> and I've been running. <coughs> Let me put this down. <coughs> I've been running into a lot of uh, roadblocks, so to speak, uh, gatekeepers, so on and so forth. Um, the last place that I had, Hopwa actually decided not to assist me. Well, Lutheran Services decided not to assist me in maintaining my rent. Um, they actually got together with the landlord. And they ended up coming up with a plan to get me booted out together. Okay. Um, Miss Audrey Green and Miss D. Campbell. Um, Miss Audrey Green from Lutheran Services and Miss D. Campbell from Property Management, All County Property Management. Um, you know, nonetheless, they got together, and I'm, I'm, from what I'm getting, from what Spirit is telling me, Miss Audrey Green basically instructed Miss D. Campbell on how to get me put out of the property, letting her know that if my rent was past due past three months or six months they wouldn't pay that amount so with that being said she basically held out on filing my um my eviction for six months now you know anywhere they they wait three months and they file your eviction okay three months they file your eviction they don't wait six months so she purposely waited six months before she filed my eviction in order to where Hopwa through Lutheran Services, Luther, Lutheran Services would not pay that. OK, she did it on purpose. She purposely waited the six months. So that way, Lutheran Services, by policy and procedure, could not pay that. OK, but how would she know to wait that long? Because Miss Audrey Green told her so. All over a Kia, a 2020 Kia Forte. Because of a 2020 Kia Forte, or did I just look really good in it? Did I just look really good in it? Did I make the Kia look better than the Kia? So, anyways, nonetheless, we're going to get on to what I'm actually doing. I'm going to call... <laughs> A couple of these places here, um, Catholic Charities and, um, you know, see if I can get some assistance through them because Lutheran Services, as I stated before, will not assist me because I currently have an investigation open with them. Um, well, on them. And as I stated before, my mother is currently in the hospital dealing with an appendix issue. I don't have any transportation. I don't have any money. I have no way of assisting her. Um, so yeah, there's that. Nonetheless, um, I have Catholic Charities numbers, so I'm going to call them and see if I can get some assistance which i know just like lutheran services knows that everything goes through them and they have to give me a referral and if they don't give me a referral it's going to be very difficult to get these people to assist me but i'm not supposed to know that but we're gonna give them a call and find out child you know and nothing be the um failure but a try. Please listen carefully as our options have recently changed. If this is an emergency, hang up and dial 911 now. I got my little notepad. If you know your party's extension, you may dial it at any time. If you are calling for emergency financial assistance with rent, mortgage, utilities, or deposits, Please hang up and call the United Way for a referral by dialing 211 or dial 904-632-0. See how they just said I needed a referral? For a dial by name directory, press 1. For our available services and programs, press 2. 
for development, press three. I just pressed two. I'm trying to find out what their services are. For English as a second language or citizenship services, please press one. For immigration legal services, press two. For refugee resettlement services, press three. For food program and refugee warehouse, press four. For social services programs, press five. For Camp I Am Special, press six. And for all other questions, please press seven. Calling Catholic Charities. You have reached the voicemail of Jamie Stater. I'm sorry I missed your call. Please leave your name and number and I will return your call as quickly as possible. If you are calling regarding emergency assistance with rent or utilities, please hang up and dial 211 to speak to a person at United Way for a referral. Please be advised that if you are calling regarding emergency assistance, you will not receive a return call. Thank you and have a good day. When you have finished recording, hang up or press pound for more options. Um, yes, my name is Jessica Johnson. I was actually given this number by um, Patrick from Lutheran Services. Um, he instructed me that they could not assist me with the hop program and that I needed to contact you all in order to try to get um, in assisted with the hop program, um, housings for persons with HIV and AIDS. Um, nonetheless, if you could give me a call back at your earliest convenience, my name is Jessica Johnson. My phone number is. My phone number is 904-537-207. I'm sorry. 904 Five three seven two zero zero seven. Um, once again, my name is Jessica Johnson. I look forward to hearing from you soon. Thank you. I don't. I don't know if y'all heard my number, and I really don't give a fuck. Y'all can call me if y'all want to. It ain't like I got something for you. Um, but yeah. So I'm gonna call them again, and I'm gonna push this uh this um extension thing that they told me to push since I didn't get through nobody that way. Dialing. Hello, you reached Joel McCray with Catholic Charity. reached the voicemail of Pat Nelms at Catholic Charities. I'm sorry that I'm unable to take your call at this time. However, if this is a financial emergency, please hang up and dial United Way 211. Or you can leave me a detailed message and I will be sure to return your call within the next 24 hours. Thank you for calling and have a great day. When you have finished recording, hang up or press pound for more options. Um, yes, I, calling in reference to the HOPWA program, um, I was given your information by Patrick from Lutheran Services. Um, my name is Jessica Johnson. Uh, my phone number is 904-537-2007. If you could give me a call back at your earliest convenience, I would greatly appreciate it. Thank you so much. Yeah, like I said, I really don't give a fuck if y'all call my number. I mean, what y'all gonna call and say? I don't got no money to give you, so I, you, I what you gonna say? How you gonna scam somebody ain't got no money? How you gonna scam a broke bitch? <laughs> 
how you gonna scam a broke bitch? You can't. So you could call if you want to. I really don't give a fuck. Today, I'm trying to take care of this business. And I want y'all to see that a lot of these people that they're giving me numbers to call, I've already contacted these people by email. I actually have an email that I sent this same lady I was just on the phone sending a message to Pat Nams. Pat Nams, I sent you an email two, three years ago about this, about this same situation what I'm going through right now. They don't give a fuck. They don't want to help me. And I want to document this shit just so people can see that I'm not making it up. So I'm finna call um 211 because that's what they said I needed to call 211. If you are feeling suicidal or experiencing an emotional crisis, press 2. If you or a household member serve or have served in the National Guard, Reserve, or active duty military, press 3. If you or a household member are a current or former firefighter, police officer, sheriff, emergency medical service personnel, or emergency dispatcher telecommunication operator, press 7. For all other inquiries, press 6. Please be advised. We record all calls for quality assurance purposes. Please. Using your telephone keypad, please enter your five-digit zip code. We would like to invite you to give us your feedback after your call today. We value your opinion and appreciate your time, so we will only ask you a few questions. If you would like to provide feedback, please press 1. If you do not wish... Thank you. Please stay on the line after your call to answer a few questions regarding the service you received. Oh, and yes, I do provide feedback because they don't know they fucking up if you don't tell them. If you would like us to send it to the number you are calling from, please press 1. If you would like us to send... Thank you for volunteering to provide feedback on our service. No problem. It's never an issue. Wait time is 42 minutes. If you would like to hold your place in line and have us call you back, instead of waiting on hold, press 1 now. Otherwise, please continue to wait, and our next available representative will answer your call in the order it was received. Okay, so this is what I do. I wait because when I press the call back button, I never get a call back until, like, maybe the next day. So I'm not doing that. And sometimes they don't even call back then. So I'm going to sit and wait. Okay, um, that's just what I do because, like I said, when I press for them to call me back, they don't call back. Um, so I'm gonna wait. I mean, what the fuck? I ain't got shit else going on in my life, right? And this is what I say I'm always working. See, y'all bitches don't see behind the scenes when I'm on these phone calls, when I'm trying to call these people and I'm getting sent to the same three people. The same three people. And y'all giving in the city of Jacksonville. Matter of fact, how much did Hopwood give Lutheran services this year? Wow. And select free tax filing. You know how much they requested for the year of 2024? The president's budget request for HOPWA for the year of 2024, $505 million. If you out there and you are HIV positive or your HIV has transitioned into actual AIDS. There has been a request by our president 
for five hundred and five million dollars for the year of 2024. Go get your assistance. Go get your help. Go to your local government agency and demand your motherfucking help. Because how in the fuck y'all ask for $505 million but can't, Lutheran services can't assist me? It's mighty motherfucking strange, ain't it? That is mighty motherfucking white of them. Five hundred and five million motherfucking dollars. Well, let me write this shit down. President Biden has requested five hundred and five million motherfucking dollars for the Hopper organization for the year of twenty twenty four. What y'all should have never fucked with a high yellow helper like me. Because now I'm finna dig in y'all ass. Because I ain't got shit else to do. Y'all took my job from me. Y'all took my stability from me. Y'all took everything from me. What else do I got to do? Other than to dig in your motherfucking ass for the year. Huh. President Biden and I think I seen a video where Camilla Harris was talking about oh what I'm supposed to do just go out there and, and do and give black people this and give black people that like I'm not finna bitch I know you ain't gonna bite the hand and feed you is it? you ain't you ain't even going to acknowledge the fact that y'all taking money for these programs and y'all ain't providing housing. Y'all are not provide. Y'all provide everything other than housing. You will pay a bitch rent one, two, three months out the year, but that's it. Y'all ain't providing housing facilities. Ain't that what the whole Hopwa organization is about? Because healthy HIV patients need stable housing in order to maintain their health, in order to maintain their productivity in society. It's all connected. But y'all, you know, can get caught up on the cuss words if you want to. Y'all should have left me the fuck alone. See, back when I was asking y'all to just pay my bills, y'all should have just paid them fucking bills and left me the fuck alone. Because y'all didn't know what type of bitch y'all was dealing with, did y'all? Y'all didn't know y'all was dealing with a motherfucking vicious ass pit. Y'all didn't know. Matter of fact, fuck a pit, bitch. Y'all ain't know I was a bloodhound. Y'all ain't know once I get the motherfucking whiff of blood in my goddamn nose, I will not stop until I'm eating it, bitch. Once I get the scent in my nose, I'm not going to stop till I'm eating. Once I get the scent, I'm not going to stop until I'm eating. I mean, really, bitch. And visit your local public housing agency. I've been on a waiting list for my local public housing agency since I moved to Jacksonville back in 2007. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. The gatekeepers are doing a magnificent job. Give them a round of applause. They are preventing you from accessing the benefits that are available to you. 
Give them a round of applause. Text the word taxes to 211904. Y'all gonna have to kill me if y'all want me stop. I'm just gonna let y'all know right off top. Y'all gonna have to end my life if y'all want me to stop. And you gonna have to do a damn good job getting somebody close to me because, bitch, I don't trust nobody. <laughs> so good luck. And I block all my windows, so I don't know if y'all think y'all gonna be able to shoot through the windows, but bitch, you don't see how I block windows in my shit? I block windows, bitch. I'm from the streets, bitch. I know what it is to get a gun pointed at your head, get the pull, get, get the trigger pulled, and a bullet go past your head instead of in your dome. Bitch, you gonna have to do a damn good job. <laughs> Interested in learning more about tax filing services or scheduling an appointment? Visit us on www.unitedwaynefl.org. That's Just so y'all can hear what they're saying. Select free Today is Monday, so why are they picking up trash? today i thought trash was on tuesdays today tuesday yeah. i ain't got nothing don't worry about it i'll get it next week i ain't got nothing i i really don't i don't i thank you i appreciate you <laughs> i'm gonna call you give you my number okay um you might not want my number though i'm not i'm not playing because I'm HIV positive. Yes, I am. Okay, thank you. Have a nice day, though. I appreciate y'all work. And that, my dear, is how you get rid of a motherfucker. Just in case y'all wanted to know. So, like I was saying, I am attempting to download this information about the 2024 Hopwood budget. Um, this is what I be doing all day. I be researching and looking into the budgets that they get. And that's why I be so mad, y'all, because I be researching the budgets that they get for people like me or to help people with housing that have HIV. And you think them people give a fuck? They put that shit on that paper and they use that shit and they, and they document that they spent it on us. And they're not. And I cannot be the only one. So what I'm going to need y'all to do is if you are HIV positive and you do live in the state of Florida, come on and join the team, dog. Because we can't change shit by ourselves. But together, 
we can make a change. We can make a statement that says Florida is full of shit. Because they're getting benefits for us and they're not helping us. Five hundred and five million dollars. I'm just going to say because it's 50 states, right? So what I'm going to say is this. That's 10.1 million dollars per state. If you have high blood pressure, a family member with diabetes or are overweight, you could be with diabetes or heart disease. For more information, ask a representative about programs that might be able to help. Who are they helping? Five hundred and five million dollars, ten point one million dollars per state. If you live in the state of Florida, hell, if you live in any state in the United States of America and you are HIV positive or you have transitioned to actually having AIDS. First, I would like to offer my condolences and <laughs> my understanding of the situation um i would like to instruct you to be strong and i would like to remind you to fight for yourself even in the midst of death you got to fight for yourself baby yeah so um be strong and go get what's your Five hundred and five million motherfucking dollars. He asked for for the year of twenty twenty four. Five hundred and five million. Five hundred and five million. Huh? I know a nigga that I used to fuck with used to be like five five bitch. <laughs> It's funny how she always come back around. <laughs> I can't y'all. Sometimes, you know, sometimes I just, I get a little, a little, you know, you know, sometimes I get a little caught up in the shit, you know, it just be funny how in your lifetime, things will repeat themselves in different ways. You know, that's God. You know what I mean? Like, it's God. Real shit. Are you at risk for heart disease? Okay, I downloaded it. Let me see it. Okay. Here we go. You could be at risk for diabetes or heart disease. Okay, so boom, 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 boom. Ask a representative about programs that might be able to help. Okay, so in 2024, I'm going to turn this down some because it's a little loud. In 2024, no, in 2022, it was $450 million that was requested. Um, the carryover from that $450 million was $148,349,000. Interested in Why is there a carryover? Isn't all of that money supposed to be used? See, this why. See, when y'all ask stupid questions like, why would these people try and kill you? This is why. Welcome to my mind. Welcome to the things that Jessica thinks of. Welcome to Neonja thoughts. Neonja thoughts. These are just my thoughts. These are just some of the questions that I ask. As our senior hall would say, these are the things that make me go. 
Hmm. Hmm. And furthermore, this this the shit that make you go, mm. Mm. I wonder if I could steal that and get away with it. <laughs> Instead of <clears throat> switching it up and being like, oh, the things that make you go, hmm. I'm going to say the shit that make you go, mm. Mm, mm, mm. Yeah. That's what I'm talking about. Uh, and why would you have a carryover? You had Are you at risk for heart disease? If you have high blood pressure, a carryover of 260 million 570,000 And when you ask for the 5 million, 500 million, you had Two hundred and fourteen million five hundred and fifty three thousand carryover. I'm gonna do a little bit more research. Um, but what I'm seeing is they're not spending the money that they're supposed to spend on the program. Um, but they're requesting more. Come on, y'all. I know I'm not the only one that's paying the fucking attention. And later, you know, after I finish contacting these people, probably tomorrow, um, because I'll probably be on the phone all the rest of the afternoon trying to do this. But <clears throat> what I plan on doing is contacting the actual HOPWA program directors. That's my next move. And I want y'all to know, you know, I do currently have an open investigation against a few different organizations. See, you talk about work. You don't know this work, boy. You don't know about God's work, boy. You don't know. Because you're just a boy. So go ask your daddy to tell you. Maybe he might know. If you got one. Because I ain't got one. I don't want to get no copyright just from their music because I don't know what the fuck they playing. I just some old country. I don't mind country music, y'all. I, I love country music. I love country music because I know it came from like BB King and shit like that. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I know it came from us. You know what I'm saying? So I, I like that old soul country shit, you know? Well, they be, you know, picking the picks and shit. But I ain't going to get off topic. I'm just going to continue to do my job. But um, I, I got to download this. Okay, it says 90% of the Hopwell funding is distributed by formula to qualifying states and metropolitan and metropolitan areas. The Hopper form formula allocates funds based on cases of people living with AIDS and HIV. Now, Jacksonville is number six in the state of Florida as far as AIDS cases, new AIDS cases or new HIV cases. Number six. Jacksonville is number six in the state of Florida. I know y'all want my head.
And I know some of you are impressed because you bought the narrative that I was just a ghetto going black girl. I want y'all all to go look in the mirror for 10 minutes and see if you can face yourself that long. Okay, so, and the formula is distributed. Formula is the hopper funding. Funding. 90% of hopper funding distributed. Distributed by formula that is based on cases of people living with HIV. Hey, I ain't gonna lie to you. When I told that nigga I was HIV positive just now, he was trying to holler at me. You should have seen the look on his fucking face. <laughs> you know how. <laughs> Listen, I watch niggas, and I watch their body language. That nigga linked in with his dick. Like, he was <laughs> like, oh, shit, I could have just been in some poison pussy. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> yeah, bitch, your life could have been gone just that quick. Y'all got to think about that when y'all out there trying to just fuck everything. Because nine times out of ten, that nigga got a pot belly, he got a woman. Just did you and your old lady a favor. You welcome. You are welcome, sweetie. Because huh. as trifling as they say I am. I do have morals. I do have a code that I live by. As much as y'all done tried to put shit on me and guide me down the wrong path, I still got a code. Give me bad advice, tell me shit that ain't true, have me living my life based on a lie. Are you at risk for heart disease? And y'all, like, genuinely was people that I love. That shit hurt. It hurt when the people that you love and the people that done raised you give you wrong advice on purpose. And the people around you don't say that that's wrong. Everybody in on it. The whole family in on it. All of y'all. All of y'all. Trust me. I know. That's why I be in this bitch solo dolo. Because every motherfucker that come into my contact, I be looking at their ass like they might be an agent. Every bitch that come into my motherfucking contact. Like, I ain't playing with you. Like, And I used to think I was wrong for feeling like that. Like, back when I was younger, I used to think I was wrong for feeling like that. Mm -mm. You got to be able to stand up on your own. <laughs> you got to. You got to be able to stand up on your own. Yes, we all need assistance. Yes, we all need help. And yes, some people will help you. But at the end of the day, you have got to be able to stand alone and keep your sanity, 
Keep your mind strong. Keep your head focused. And keep a fuck nigga the fuck from around you. And a pussy asshole the fuck from around you. And I know y'all feel like I be coming off real good and grimy. And y'all know a lot of y'all think I'm trying to be something that I'm not. I know it. But my war is against the proper people. Why are you warring against me? Why are you warring against me? I'm warring against the proper entities. Why we ain't helping each other? Why we ain't supporting each other? Why am I sitting here doing all of this on my own? Why? So yeah, the Hopper funding, 90% of the Hopper funding is distributed by a formula that is based on the cases of people living with HIV in that state and is adjusted for Hold on, let me get this a little bit bigger so I can see it because, you know, I am getting old. <laughs> uh, shit. It's adjusted for areas fair market rent and poverty rates. Now, check it. They just spent the last past two after this pandemic shit. The pandemic. After they enacted the pandemic they begin to no one could pay their rent so they begin to put people out some people got their rents paid and even after they got their rents paid they they you know we continue to have income issues and because of that even after they paid certain rents these people got put out i was one of those people okay so now, with that being the case, they then went and these companies came in, these organizations, the same organizations and corporations that own private prisons, came in and bought up all the properties. They knocked down the houses that was there, that had been there and were passed the point of repair um even the one i mean all of them basically was past the point of repair like it was they don't do repairs y'all can see y'all see how my walls and my shit look i just moved in here the beginning of this year i know y'all don't think that i done told this house up like this and i ain't got no children no this is how they have us living sub standard sub par facilities living quarters for slaves Florida is still using slave tactics and the rest of the country to move past this. And we still stuck in it. The South is still stuck in it. Y'all done left us stuck in it. If you have high blood pressure, a family member with diabetes, or are overweight, you could be at risk for diabetes. And ain't nobody saying nothing because nobody really knows that something is wrong. Because nobody's been anywhere outside of here. And they use that against us. <laughs> the atrocities that are committed in this state is as of those in a third world country. DeSanto don't give a fuck about us. Bush didn't give a fuck about us, but it was a little bit better when Bush was in it. It was a little bit more honest. It was. I'm going to give you that, Bush. It was a little more honest. You had to be at least doing your, your due diligence when Bush was in office. Ron DeSantis don't give a fuck. It's like the wild wild west with him 
it's an all out free for all. And they all grease in their pockets and ain't nobody doing their due diligence. No one. And y'all can stop sending people at me thinking that I'm looking for love because I don't give a fuck about love. If you ain't finna help me with my cause, fuck love. I can't love you. Because you don't believe in what I believe in. If you ain't going to stand up for something, I don't want to date you. That's why I have no issue telling a nigga right up front, bitch, yes, I'm HIV positive. So don't ask me for my number and don't try and give me yours. And don't come with that sleazy ass talk game that y'all be running. Because I ain't for it. I ain't for it for the old or the new. If you're not going to pull your motherfucking sleeves up and do this work with me, I don't want to hear it because there is no other work. There is no other work that is going to ensure that the future generations have a fucking chance. Ain't no other work. And it don't matter if I'm the only one doing it. I'm doing it. Because they using, they, get, these people gave me HIV, bro. Period. And these niggas helped them. Because everyone wants to feed themselves. And no one has access to food. See how it all weaved together? <laughs> I just wish my people would open their fucking eyes. I just wish... <laughs> Y'all then stole my resources from me. And I would have used those resources to do the right thing. And that shit is fucked up and it hurt. It's fucked up and it hurt. Because y'all did it for selfish ass reasons. My auntie, my mama, people, other, other people, families. Like, I know y'all all are involved. Y'all can stop trying to monitor me on my social media sites. I know y'all all involved in it. I know y'all wanted to steal my purpose. And it don't matter if y'all help me. I'm going to do the work that God got me to do. Because this is what God got for me. And I'm far more patient than you all give me credit for. And I am far more determined than you ever thought I was. And I don't got shit else to do. So I can focus all my energy on fucking you all over. All of you. You will burn from the insides. Real shit. Every last one of you. Those over here and those over there. Yeah. And matter of fact, those anywhere and everywhere. Because 
I told y'all to leave me alone and just let me help people, but y'all refused to move. Y'all ain't gonna move out my motherfucking way. Nah, I'm finna open up these books. <sighs> like, I'm finna dig through all y'all financial records. Cause I don't have anything but time. Yeah. Text the word taxes to 211 Just like, to I know I'm not the only one doing it. <laughs> That's the fucking amazing part now because I know for sure I am not the only one doing it. And that shit made me feel... Because <sighs> I've been just begging somebody to look into this. Are you at risk for heart disease? If you have high blood pressure, a family member with diabetes, or are overweight... You could be at risk for diabetes. I've been begging disease. somebody to look into this. Ask a representative about programs that might be able to help. Why they getting money for us and they're not helping us? Think about it. When you got bills to pay, how could you possibly sit on the phone this long? All these programs and organizations is set up to keep us out of the line of access of the funding. It's a maze. And you will get caught and you'll be stuck and trapped in the maze. So it's all designed to keep you out of access of the funding. And then the way society is set up, people have begun using government funds to bribe citizens into conforming they are using access to these resources to bribe citizens into conforming but they're not meant for that they were always meant for us Text the word. Text if y'all don't wake the fuck up and see what the government is doing Y'all children are literally going to be walking around in chains. It might not be visible to the eye, but they will be there. Hello, good morning. Thank you for calling. 